Welcome to the weekly construction news roundup from across Africa, brought to you by Construction Review, Africa's leading construction journal. Maliland and Ethiopia have launched a $400 million road project that will link Ethiopia's border town of Togo Chale to Babera Port in Somalia over a distance of 72 kilometers. The Dubai World Ports launched the construction work of the Babera Port and signed a 30-year concession agreement to administer the port which is located on the southern coast of the Gulf of Aden. The expansion will lead to the capacity of the port increasing by over 50%. In South Africa, construction works of the new Barlow Park precinct is set to commence in May at an investment cost of over $200 million. The project is a core investment between Barlow World, Arterbury Property and African Rainbow Capital and will transform the Santon Central site from a sprawling corporate park that previously housed Barlow World's corporate office logistics and equipment headquarters into a modern mixed-use precinct. The entire construction expected to take at most six to eight years to complete. Each party will hold one-third of the property. The construction of a parliament complex in the Republic of Congo is geared towards its completion in 2020 as planned. Construction works on the $58 million project, fully funded as a donation from the Chinese government, kicked off in May 2017. The complex will feature two chambers that will have extra facilities such as office space for the staff, parking space, 12 committee rooms, as well as conference facilities. The Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Ketraco, has commissioned the Nairobi Ring Associated Substations project that is set to offer a different path for power into the Nairobi metropolitan region. According to Ketraco Managing Director Mr. Fernandez Barraza, construction will involve building two 2066 kV capacity substations in Isinia, Kimuka Ngong, and Athi River and Mala areas which will in turn increase transformation capacity and remove load from the existing overloaded substations. This project is Ketraco's solution to the never-ending demand for electricity in the Nairobi metropolis. And lastly, the new Luanda International Airport in Angola is set to undergo correction works to adapt the structure to more modern trends in passenger comfort. The corrections to the project will be carried out up to the year 2022 at an estimated cost of $5 billion, occupying an area of 1,324 hectares. The new airport is expected to become the aviation hub for Western Africa. When completed, the airport will be able to receive up to 15 million passengers per year. That's all we had for you this week. Be sure to subscribe to ensure you receive your weekly roundup on construction news from across Africa.